Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Northwest Baseball Report. I'm your host, Josh. And guys, I love doing this. I have i can't believe how much I missed doing the podcast with guests, you know, taking that couple months off and now jumping into the Northwest Baseball Report and doing that. Man, that site is just taken off. I could not be more excited and more proud of what's happening. I love seeing the excitement about Northwest Baseball. You guys know that I've covered the NWAC for six years. I actually started my you know, the original site, not even know it all, when I was down working at Corbin University, started covering them. So I love the Northwest, love this area. And I'm excited for today because on my show today, I actually have head coach at Bushnell University, uh, Tommy Richards, which I know some of you are thinking, Bushnell, where the heck is that? Uh, it's actually a college that's been around for a while. They are renaming themselves. They're in Eugene, Oregon. But you know what? I'm just pumped because th this is exciting for me because – we are seeing, even though we've lost some teams in the Northwest, we lost Boise State, you know, because of everything that went down, which was weird for me to see. But now we're seeing other programs like Eastern Oregon. Their first year back is this year. Bushnell will be the first year back next year. So I'm excited to see baseball is kind of building again in the Northwest, and I just love it. But, guys, let's just jump right into this. Tommy, how are you doing tonight? Josh, hey, man, thank you for having me on. And I love the intro. Dude, I'm excited for – this venture and to see baseball growing and and a lot of respect for you man so thank you for letting me join the show and and i gotta tell you i mean one one quick thing is like you know you said hey i, I you never heard of bushnell before this and and honestly i'd never heard of bushnell either or or northwest christian and so for me growing up like for me to know a college it was probably because of their baseball program kind of a thing and so you know northwest christian didn't have a team and and uh, thus, I didn't really know they existed kind of a thing. So really excited to, to build this program, and, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of work, but we're excited to, to put our best foot forward and, and uh, see what happens. Yeah, and, and like I said, you know, this is kind of a really a preparation year, recruiting, getting things going, getting ready for, for really this upcoming fall. You know, as you're out there right now, what is it like for you? Because, I mean, you're, you coast at Whitman, where obviously D3, it's very academic. There are athletes, but they don't get scholarships for athletics. Where here, you do have some scholarships. What is it like recruiting-wise? Because it's got to be a little different being able to say, hey, guys, I have at least some kind of a scholarship for you. Yeah, yeah, that part's been good. Um, that's been exciting. Uh, you know, I, I guess I just think that this job right here for me is kind of just a beautiful kind of mix and collaboration of all of my experiences in the past so you know coming from Whitman said a high academic place where we're recruiting uh, you know an academic profile that's a little bit different than a lot of places and and uh, you know learning what that means and 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 figuring out you know how to be successful there and there's a little bit of, of that here at Bushnell even you know it's a private school it's academic and and uh, there's something about recruiting guys with a high GPA that I get excited about and it's it's uh, it's a good thing and so um, yeah, I think, I think, you know, just your question of how it's been out on the recruiting trail, it's been fun. You know, it's been a ton of fun. It's, it's been a little overwhelming just trying to keep everything, you know, in line and, and on track, I guess you'd say, just with the, the volume and the number of kids that we're recruiting. It's been a little overwhelming, but I think the biggest thing, man, is we just really believe in this institution. I, I believe in, in our program. I believe in the infrastructure. Uh, so you have a chance to share your story, share the vision, always love doing that. And, and we've had a chance to meet some really great kids and families and, and just kind of start building the relationship with them. And uh, not all of them have decided to come to Bushnell. You know, there's been a, a good number of kids that uh, we've recruited that are going other places. But nonetheless, it's it's uh, it's a beautiful thing, man, just talking baseball and, and getting to know families. It's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. You know, most teams are trying to get 10, 15 guys. And you're trying to get a full roster plus extras to see how things are going. But for you, you mentioned, you know, having the vision and be able to share that. I mean, this is going to be your vision. This is kind of, in essence, your baby, your foundation. What is it like to know that, you know, going forward, what happens is really something you built from the ground up? I love it. I, I got to tell you, I, I love it. Like, I think that um, it's a unique situation. You know, a lot of times when, you know, you step into your first head coaching job or any head coaching job, I guess, you know, you're taking over for somebody else. And sometimes, you know, you're taking over a program that 
maybe things need to change a little bit. And so for, for me here in this opportunity, um, I feel a, a huge sense of responsibility, I guess you'd say. Like, you know, there is a, um, there is a lot that needs to be done, but it's just, it's so exciting, man. And, and um, you know, there's, I can't put the blame on anybody else. If this thing fails, that's my fault. If it, if it goes right, um, it's my staff and the, and the players that, that did a good job. And so that's really what I'm focused on, man, is, is uh, just assembling the right group of people. Uh, that's what this year is all about. And, and um, yeah, that's, that's the whole focus right here. And then, you know, also for you, I mean, you are a Northwest guy. You played in the Northwest, coached in the Northwest. So what's it what's it like for you to get a head coaching job in the Northwest, be able to stay, you know, somewhat local to a region you're you're familiar with and just something you're, you're I guess you could say, even comfortable with? Yeah, golly. Uh, I feel, I almost feel overwhelmed with, like, luck, I think would be the right way to say it. I think, um baseball in the Northwest, it's always been really close to my heart. And, and to have this opportunity, like, I just, I can't think of a better situation to step into. Um, I really, I really like do believe um, that I got lucky. Uh, you know, I, I think that there's a lot of great coaches out there uh, who could have been given this opportunity, but it was given to me. And I just, yeah, I feel I feel blessed. I mean, it's it's crazy to to think about, you know, this program and how the wind feels like it's really at our backs, and just to know that it's not always that way. Um, you know, for me, like growing up in Bend and kind of watching, uh, you know, my dad, I felt like did a lot for the baseball community in Bend, and um, Bend really became like a baseball destination you know, with, with the Elks, like in the early 2000s. And just remember like really good coaches wanted to be a part of that program and really good players would come in and and that was fun to watch. And my vision, my goal is to make Bushnell and to make, uh, you know, our park like a baseball destination and, and make it a place that entices uh, really good players to want to come be a part of it and, and also just really good coaches to be here. So it means everything to me. Um, yeah, I, I just feel like I've been given an opportunity that a lot of people, um, would kill for and, and I want to take advantage of it. And then for Bush now, you're, you'll be jumping into the Cascade Collegiate Conference, which, yeah. you know, has a, a little team, LC State, that has a little bit of history, uh, with, with NAIA championships. Yeah. What's it like to know that you're going to step into a conference that, you know, it's not going to be a weak conference. You're going to have competition week in and week out. I mean, that's, it's, that's gotta be kind of fun and exciting to know, Hey, you're gonna play against some of the best teams all the time. It's really exciting. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, man, it's humbling. It's an honor. Um, it's really exciting. You know, I think that a part of it is like a respect all fear, none kind of mentality. Um, a lot of respect for a lot of teams in the league. And, you know, I just, I think for us, like, and we'll, we'll say it till we're blue in the face to our guys, like, Man, anybody, anytime, anywhere, like it doesn't matter who we're playing. We're, we're playing ourselves and we're playing the game. And, and that's that's going to be what it is. You know, we're going to focus on the process and and be detached from the outcome. You know, as long as I'm uh, leading the troops here, like that will be the mentality. And, you know, I, it's been funny, like a lot of people want to, you know, want to talk to me about, hey, you know, uh, they want to talk about teams in the league and it's like, hey, you know, you probably fare well against this team, maybe not so much here and there and this and that. And people want to talk about, you know, how, how we're going to be record wise. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, I do not care what you're talking about. Like, I just don't. Like, you can you can say whatever you want to say. Uh, you can do your mathematics in your head right now. I don't care, dude. The one thing that I care about is the process. And if we're, you know, if we're dialed in on the process, I feel good about our chances, but I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and waste time thinking about things that are outside of my control. Like, you know, what our record could possibly be in your, in your one. Um, my, my focus is on our processes, the people that we can bring in and it'll be a challenge. Uh, there's no doubt. And, and I respect the heck out of everybody in the league and, and uh, the facts are uh, any game that we could, you know, any game that we play, if we don't play well, we could get smashed. 
Um, and, but I also believe in uh, we can also beat anybody, you know, if we if we do things the right way and play hard. So I think, uh, you know, one guy that I like, um, he's kind of a guy, I love him or hate him, is is uh, is Mike Leach. I just think about the, the three team goals that he has for his team every day, you know, or every game. It's like be a team, be the most excited to play, be the best at doing your job. So we'll focus on things like that and let the rest take care of itself. You know, and one of the things I love, you know, and I've realized covering, especially the NWAC, is the talent pool in Northwest is so deep. I think people underestimate just how much talent there is in the Northwest. But you look at, like, you know, Oregon State's made title runs. Oregon right now is looking good. Washington, Gonzaga. I mean, there are some great teams. And then you drop down to – not even drop down, but just step to the other conferences, you know, D2, D3, NAIA, JUCO level – and there are there are studs everywhere, and I love the fact that here in the Northwest, a team like yours could be put together and be competitive day one because there's that much talent out there. Yeah, it sure feels like it. Like we think so. You know, I think that um, I really do think that we have a chance, like where we're located, you know, to really recruit like pretty local. You know, I think there's a lot of schools and a lot of players nearby that. Um, that deserve, you know, this opportunity or, or that are that caliber of player that could really come in and like make an impact um, early. And so, um, yeah, I think that's an awesome thing. You know, shoot, I, I grew up, I graduated high school in 08, right? So I was in high school when Oregon State started to like just be an animal. And I remember watching guys like, you know, Darwin Barney, Mitch Canham. I remember watching those teams and like studying those rosters and, uh, golly, like there's so many awesome names and they're all like Northwest guys, you know? And so, uh, that's something that gets me fired up and, and, uh, I hope to hope to do the same here, you know, with, with Oregon kids and me being from central Oregon, like I want to get into central Oregon and, and, um, and do a good job recruiting down there and or over there, I guess you'd say. Uh, so yeah, no, it is exciting. And, and I mean, we're recruiting kids kind of from all over the place, you know, at the same time. But um, I think that there's a lot of great things going on. I love the NWAX, you know, at Whitman, like at Whitman, we weren't really getting into the NWAX as much um, just with the academic profile. Uh, but I think being here at Bushnell, that'll be a little bit different. And it's been fun, you know, connecting with those coaches and reconnecting with some of them and, and uh, just building those relationships. I think it'll be a great thing. Yeah. I mean, for you, the NWAC, you got, Lane, Len Benton, Schumacher is close by. I mean, the whole yeah. South region is right in that, that zone. It's kind of, totally. I mean, it's, it's a talented zone as well. So, but for you, yeah. I mean, obviously Bushnell, you guys will be starting for the first time, you know, come next year. What do you guys have field wise? What is your facility like? Cause is there something new being yeah. built just for you guys? It's ridiculous. Yeah. There, I mean, there's things that there's things that I can say, and I think things that I can't say, <laughs> Um, but there, there is going to be a new facility. Uh, it's, there's a lot of money being put into it. It's not going to be just Bushnell. It is a partnership, but it's a really good partnership, um, with, a with another entity, um, you know, that's, they're pouring a lot of resources into it. Um, and Bushnell is pouring a lot of resources into it. So the facility, like I, I think that's a big part of, of this opportunity here. I think that it does have a chance to be a baseball destination, um, you know, full turf, indoor facility down the right field line with cages, locker room, uh, you know, stadium set up, press box, the whole shot. Um, and just, I think the other part of it is, is the people that we're partnered with are great people and there's great people at Bushnell. And so to me, um, I mean, you gotta got you gotta have good people in your corner, and that's what I really believe that that's what we have here, and and it really makes the opportunity uh, really exciting. You know, and that's one of the things you know for any college or university to start up a, a new sports program, it isn't just a whim. They have to go through a process, really figure out how bad they want it, and for them to start a program, they have to want it. They have to really want it. So, what's it like, excitement wise, around Bushnell for having this new program being put into place? Yeah, I would also say, you know, like in this industry, 
a big thing, uh, you know, if you're going to be successful, you have to have alignment. You know, there needs to be alignment throughout the whole institution. And um, we have that here. You know, I, I we, we definitely have that. Like, it's not just the baseball coach that wants to be successful or the athletic director that wants the baseball team to be successful. Like, it goes up the ranks, like, to the president's office. Um, the president is a baseball guy. He played baseball at TCU in his day. Um, he's got a picture of Northwest Christian had a club team in like the 50s. And he's got a blown up picture in his office of that team. And he's just a baseball fanatic, um, which is which is awesome. You know, like his, he's been here for a long time. Um, there's been a lineage of, uh, like I think his dad was the president here as well. And, and um, you know, he, he's told me stories just about how he's he's been trying to bring baseball in for a while, but um, not really until this partnership happened in the community uh, could he could he make it happen and then when the stars aligned with this uh, he jumped on the opportunity and so uh, yeah no it, there's there's a lot of excitement everybody seems to be all in um, and so alignment is a big thing and I think we have that here and and uh, I'm just a small a small part of it but um, want to do a, I want to do a good job and, and work hard for him. that's awesome yeah it's just it's it's so great when you have that support from all the different levels, especially when someone is passionate about it. You just, you know, baseball fans, it doesn't matter what they do for a living. They're just a little bit different breed. And it's a good thing. We're, we're, we're a little bit excitable, but it's, it's awesome. And then Tommy, last question I have for you. I mean, here you are, you're recruiting, you're doing all this different stuff. What is the biggest thing you want recruits to know about, about Bush now and about you as you're preparing for next year? Oh, that's a great question. And I think the, I think the biggest thing, man, is just that we, we're going to do it the right way. You know, we're going to be very honest. We're going to do everything we can to create the right culture. Uh, you know, to me, the, the culture that we hope to create is, is a culture of optimism, of, you know, constant feedback, of discipline, of hard work. Um, man, we're just, we're fired up to, to, to do those things and to be able to create that culture. You know, I think it all kind of starts with like your purpose. Um, so we want to get kids that are driven and that have uh, motivation, um, that have a why, you know, to me, like my why is uh, when I was growing up, like I just played for some great coaches, man, like coaches that really impacted me, even in ways that like shape my perspective outside of baseball you know, like guys that really changed my life. And so for me, I feel motivated to pay it forward and to be that guy that can inspire players and motivate players. Um, and really just at the end of the day, like uh, I hope that this program um, fosters a whole lot of growth, that you learn lessons in our program that will transcend the diamond. And it's gonna be a lot of fun, but it's gonna be a lot, a lot of work. And so what guys need to know on the recruiting trail is that uh, they're going to be highly challenged here, but they're also going to be highly supported and uh, we'll do our best every day. And, and um, you know, it sounds cliche, but we're going to build this thing. We're going to do it right. We're going to build the foundation right. We're going to do it one day at a time. That is awesome. And I, I'm excited. I'm excited to, to see once again, more college teams up here in the Northwest, but you know, also excited just, just for better baseball. I mean, just seeing people take advantage of, of opportunities and going out there but tommy thank you so much for for coming on tonight and and i'm hopefully i'll see maybe one of the recruiting events this summer and if not yeah. i know i make it down to salem all the time eugene's not that much farther down and go down and catch a game or two let me know when you're down here man we'll go out and we'll get food and and i'll get you a shirt and a hat and and you can wear it you know whenever you're out on the recruiting events and and represent the beacons well absolutely i will not say no to that thank you so much tommy <laughs> all right man thank Have you a good for night. having me Yep, you too. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Tommy Richards, the head coach for, for Bushnell University. And, guys, you know, Northwest baseball is is growing. And I think a big reason for that is Oregon State's championships. I mean, honestly, when they started winning championships, there was a different tone, a different feel in baseball in the Northwest. Things started to, to roll a little bit differently. Kids were excited. High schoolers were excited. excited and... I think, I think you're starting to see the fruits of that today. I think this is now the time where you're starting to see the changes from what Oregon State did 
positively for the Northwest to where people are saying, hey, there's talent up here. There's, you know, there's great teams up here, national contending teams at all the different college levels. And it's just awesome to see. I, I, I'm excited. I love this. Every time I see a new team coming in, um, it's just, it just kind of adds a little bit of joy to me um, because I know that there is so much talent here in the Northwest. I mean, I see kids who don't make it to college rosters who I think could easily compete uh, at a lot of the different levels, but there just isn't enough spots. So I'm, I'm excited to see more guys get the opportunity to, to play college baseball. But guys, with that, man, what another great episode. I I love having this this going again, getting it back up, especially with the Northwest focus. It just uh, it hits home. It does. That's that's the best way to put it. But guys, with that, I'm calling it a podcast. Thank you so much for listening. I am Josh, and this is the Northwest Baseball Report. Talk to you later.